Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing the best and worst of series tag or the series tag. It's from Mara from Books Like Whoa. I will leave her channel as well as all the questions in the description down below. But basically, it's just a question to kind of check in with your series and how you're feeling about, you know, the series you loved or hated or whatever. So the first question is the best series that you caught up with that's still an ongoing series. And so for me, that's going to be the Last Hour series by Cassandra Clare. And I've talked about Cassandra Clare way too much on my channel. So that is, in my opinion, the best series that I caught up with. I would love for there to be a different answer, or I would like for myself to be caught up on more series because there's just not, I haven't, I read a lot of first books in series this past year and really need to continue. Okay, so the next question is an ongoing series that you're still catching up with. For me, I've only read the first book, and I talked about it in series I wanted to continue this year, but that's going to be the Every Heart Doorway series. I am way behind. I think there's like eight or nine books out at this point, and I've only read the first one, so I'm way but they're very short, so I should just like read them in between stuff because they're so short. But that one is one I'm still catching up to, you know, being at the newest release of the series or whatever. And then the next question is, your favorite first book in your series that you read this year, like out of all the series that you read, for me that was easily The Poppy War, which I don't know when these videos are going up. I'm trying to just bulk film today, but I don't know. Hopefully the HarperCollins Union Strike is over by the time this goes live, but if not, I will leave, you know, all relevant links and information in the description as well as resources for you to check out. And I'll try to put on the screen here the tag for the Instagram of the HarperCollins Strike Union. You should absolutely look into that and support them any way you can. The next question is a book that you think the first book in the series should have been a standalone. For me, I'm going to say The Lightning Struck Heart. I, it was the final book I read in 2022. It was very enjoyable. I really, really liked it. I don't really care to continue the series because I feel like I got kind of what I wanted. A, like, it's a romance, but there's lots of fantasy elements to it. And the fantasy elements are definitely not, in my opinion, a strong suit of the novel. If the fantasy had been stronger than I would maybe want to continue but I, I mean I loved the romance and I did enjoy like the little it was very cozy fantasy very whimsical and like just but it didn't really give me the drive to want to keep reading I feel like it's a very good on its own kind of book the next question is a series that you think is the most overhyped and I'm gonna say for me because my opinion of the book was just so negative in comparison to other people's opinions on it I'm gonna have to say Red Rising I just cannot stand the way that is written. I I just, I want to continue and I want to read the following books because how much everyone just won't stop talking about how amazing the series is. Like there's so many people that consider the series to be a favorite, but I just, I listened to it and then I read maybe 20 pages of it physically and I just, like it just, <laughs> I, it grinds my gears like the way it is written. Like something about that writing just drives me crazy, which is crazy because like I enjoyed the Dresden Files. So like, I mean, I feel like some people who don't like Dresden Files would also not enjoy Red Rising for similar reasons, but like I could handle Red Rising. I mean, I could handle the Dresden Files, but I hated Red Rising. So I don't know. It's just something about the way he writes that I, it just, it drives me crazy. Next up is a series that I DNF'd, a series that I decided that I was not going to continue. And that is going to be for me, The City of Brass by Essa Chakraborty. Now I know she has another book coming out next year that I think is in a completely different world. So I may check that out depending on what the reviews say and stuff, but this series didn't really capture my attention enough to want to continue with the characters and all that. I actually have a whole review for it. I, uh, I made it sometime at the beginning of last year, so I'll link that. The next question was your favorite finale. And I concluded two trilogies this year that I would say were pretty strong in their conclusions. The first one being the Amber Spyglass, which is the conclusion to the His Dark Material series, which I barely talked about at all this whole year, but I do have a full spoiler-filled review for it if you've read it. I know it's very, it came out, I don't even know, deck over 20, 30 years ago maybe, but it was a very satisfying conclusion in my opinion, very bittersweet, very gives me what I want. It was very good, it's like what I, it's an example of a conclusion that I think is what I would want, but oh man, that is very, oof. That conclusion just is pretty tragic. I don't know what else to say. And then the other one is going to be As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson, which I remember really enjoying, but honestly, I can't remember everything that happened in the book, but I remember feeling very satisfied by the ending. So, and that's a trilogy where you're following 
Pippa, I want to say it's Pippa, and her boyfriend, and just shenanigans that she gets into. And there's a lot of discussion around, you know, toxic masculinity in the series that I thought was really good. So there we go. And then for me, the, I'm not going to say it was the worst, but definitely the most disappointing finale for me was the conclusion to the Mistborn trilogy. I just don't think I'm going to read any more Sanderson for a long time. He's doing fine. He's going to do just fine without me. I, for me, he doesn't hit the way y'all say. And that's all I have to say on that. The biggest cliffhanger, I hate to repeat answers here, but it's going to be Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. Like it is such an emotional cliffhanger. Like it is awful. The way it ends is so excruciating and I hate it so much, but I cannot wait to feel <sighs> Cassie just, she really knows how to conclude her series. Like she really knows how to just give, give you all of it. She knows what to do. She knows, she knows how to do it. So I'm very excited for Chain of Thorns. I cannot believe how much longer we've had to wait than we originally planned, but I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I have it pre-ordered. I've never pre-ordered a book. I'm so excited. There we go. And the most series I'm excited to catch up with, I don't know if this is ongoing or completed, but the, my answer for this is completed. The most excited series I am to read the next book in the series is definitely The Baron of the Night I've, I've already started it. I've already read, I think, 30, yep, I'm on page 36. And I, God, sure hope to finish this series this year because I also don't want to finish it because I want it, I want to live in this world forever. But this is definitely the series I'm the most excited to read the next installment. And then the answer, my favorite series that I finished. So I only finished like three series this year, which is, it's upsetting. But knowing what I know from what I read last year and the ones I want to continue, I feel like hopefully by the end of this year, I'll have better answers. But as far as what I did finish in 2022, I think I'm going to have to give it to His Dark Materials. I feel like that was the best conclusion. That was my favorite overall series. I enjoyed each book individually in and of itself. I still haven't continued the show. I need to finish the show, but I kind of want to wait till the whole show is done. I think we're getting season three this year. I don't know, but definitely want to, that was probably my favorite series that I concluded that I had read the final book in this year. And it was like the second or third book I read this year, last year, because now it's 2023. But yes, the next question is your favorite episodic series, which I don't really, or at least last year, I haven't read any like that. I really want to get into some series like that. Like, Arguably Perot, Miss Marple, like I want to get into those. I'm trying to think if you know any other episodic series that, you know, you can kind of read in any order, definitely let me know in the comments what you think is worth it, but I don't really have an answer for that this year. And then the next is like a series that you bailed on that you've been holding out hope on continuing maybe, but for me, I don't really have an answer for this either because I, I pretty much know like from the first book, not always, but for the most part, at least with what I read last year, like I knew what I wanted to finish and what I don't, and I, or what I want to continue reading in at least. Like I feel like for me, I just like, if I read one book, do I want to read the next one? And then I just kind of determine book by book. But yeah, I don't really have an answer for this either because I I would have said maybe the Scythe trilogy, but I finished that because I decided like, I enjoyed the first two books enough, even though there were so many conflicting things about, there were so many conflicting reviews about the third book, I decided to finish it. I'm glad I finished it. Uh, it's all I'm gonna say about that. Now we're gonna say, um, the next question is a series that you found the most surprising that you enjoyed. So for me, I'm gonna say, I have two answers for this kind of. I'm gonna say A Court of Thorns and Roses. Now I know that she's very hyped and she's very popular and I don't enjoy her, just from the first book, I haven't enjoyed her at the level that I feel like lots of the girlies are giving her. So like, it was like a four star read for me, so don't get me wrong, like it wasn't anything that I found absolutely amazing, but I am intrigued enough to read at least the next Akatar book, so we'll give her that. And I know Court of Mist and Fury is, I think, her highly rated, most highly rated, maybe, I don't know, but I am going to continue the series. And then the other one I'm most surprised <laughs> in a completely different genre here is The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. I just really enjoyed his writing, the way he kind of paces the story, the way that you feel like you're always with him. Like, I feel like there's never a dull moment in the book. Um, and I understand why some people can't stand being in his head, but for me, it worked. For me, it worked. I really enjoyed, you know, what I've read of it. Even though I didn't enjoy the second book as much, I'm still intrigued to continue and continue to catch up on to where the series is currently published at. Next question is a series that you wish you had caught up on and you didn't. For me, that's going to be, as we already discussed, the Brandon Nightingale series. This definitely should have been continued because the first book was like a 4.5. I think it was my top three. The first book was like top three books of the year. And I know from what I hear, they just get better and better. So 
possibly that, but also the Wayward Children series. I cannot remember. I know Kayla's talked about it. I know, why am I blanking on her name? Meg with Books. Meg with Books talked about it. Eve Amara, who created this tag, has talked about it. And lots of people will just read the series because it's short and it helps their goals. But I actually, Katie from Katie Colson has really enjoyed it. So just all these people have talked about it, but I, but I don't know. I don't know why it took me so long to pick it up. It took me so long to pick it up, even though they're, they're so short. But yeah, I would like to just keep reading in the series and then maybe once, I don't know if I want to catch up on the series and then read other Shauna McGuire stuff. I don't know. We'll just, we'll see how that goes. But those are the two series that came to mind when I thought of this question. And finally, the last question is a series that you think is better as a whole, as opposed to like its individual books. And for me, this series, I am so angry at the series. I'm so angry at the series, not because of the series, but because I had an entire vlog dedicated to this series that was like over an hour long and I tried to edit the vlog and then all the footage got corrupted and it was just so infuriating. But if you know you were ever expecting that vlog to come, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just never coming. I'm so sorry. But the answer is Vampire Academy. Vampire Academy, I feel like is much better as a series than it is individual books. The individual books do not really stand on their own as well, which I don't mind. Like, I don't mind, but I will always have anger towards that series because of what happened in terms of editing and my cameras and all that stuff. I do have two spoiler-filled reviews for the first and second book that you can watch if you're interested, but I will never. I may, maybe one day I'll come back and sit down and like try to piece together a review for the remaining books, but I just, I'm so angry. I literally took like months off of YouTube because of what happened with that series, and I probably will not do vlogs for a long time because of what happened with that. It was absolutely infuriating. That's how we're gonna leave it. That's how we're gonna leave the video with me being just so angry. But I do think Vampire Academy is much better as a whole series. Like I feel like it's one of those series that I do think, you know, is better if you just binge the whole thing and try to turn your brain off. There we go. So I will leave Mara's channel in the description as well as anybody else that I mentioned. Also all the questions in the description. If you'd like to do this tag yourself, if you've already done the tag, I'd love to see it. And I will leave my Instagram, Goodreads, and Twitter. It will all be in the description for you to check out if you'd like. Otherwise, have a great day. Bye.